Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Nahum chapter 1, where Nahum began writing down his vision of God's judgment of Nineveh, the capital city of Assyria. Nahum wrote the first chapter in essentially two parts. In the first part, Nahum explained to the people of Nineveh some of the characteristics of this great God who was about to destroy them and wipe them from the face of the earth. In the second part, Nahum gave hope to the people of Judah who were being oppressed by the Assyrians. Nahum explained to the people of Judah that the judgment of Nineveh would be a very good thing for them. Nahum began by factually stating some characteristics of this mighty God. Perhaps God was hoping the people would repent once they heard who it was that took offense to their behaviors and lifestyles. Nahum told the people, God is a jealous and avenging God. He takes vengeance on his enemies. He is slow to anger, but if he does get angry, no one can stand against him. God will not leave the guilty unpunished. He can destroy with storms, tornadoes, and clouds. God controls the oceans and the rivers and dries them up whenever he wishes. Nahum continued, Mountains quake because of him. The earth dissolves when he tells it to. No one can stand in his presence and endure his anger. He is going to pour out his wrath like fire and crush the mountains. He is going to bring an overflowing flood and make a complete end of wickedness. God will pursue his enemies into eternal darkness. No evil plan can succeed against God. God will cut to pieces all false gods. God is preparing your graves. But for Judah, Nahum told the people some very hopeful things. Nahum recorded the vision God gave him about Judah. Nahum said, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. God will no longer allow you to be afflicted. He will break the heavy yoke that Assyria put on your shoulders, and he will tear off all the shackles. Judah will be free. Behold, there is one on the mountains who brings good news and announces peace. You will celebrate your feasts again, Judah. Pay your vows and love the Lord your God. Never again will the wicked one pass through your land. The most important verses in this chapter are Nahum 1, verses 2 and 3, which state, God is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that God will never let the guilty go unpunished. And God is the strongest being in the universe. What kind of person or being in their right mind would ever want to rebel against Him? God wants us to know extreme punishment awaits all of His enemies, but extreme love awaits all of His children. The Lord wants everyone everywhere to repent and to come to Him for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Don't be foolish and rebel against the most powerful being in the universe. Surrender your soul to him today. He is good and kind and he will not hurt you. Just the opposite, in fact. Turn your back on this wicked, doomed world. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead and validated everything he said. The Lord said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Put your trust in him today. Thanks for watching the Nahum chapter 1 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. I'll see you next time.